camera, the audience, <laughs> then let us begin. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1.26 tells us that man was created in God's image. God also created man with a desire to create. But while God creates out of nothing, we need something to work with. Behold the brick. If you were to go up to a random person on the street and show them a Lego brick, it is almost 100% likely for them to recognize it. According to an article in Time Magazine, there are 62 bricks for every person in the world. In addition, Lego minifigures are the largest people group in the world. <laughs> and will actually outnumber humans by 2019. But other than just recognizing the brick and loving to play with it, what do we really know about Lego? In my speech, I will be showing you the beginning of the brick, how it's built, and how it has gone beyond its humble beginnings to become a worldwide source of creativity. Most of the information in this speech comes from two books. One Million Little Bricks by Sarah Herman and The Lego Book by Daniel Lucas. In 1931, in Billund, Denmark, a carpenter named Ole Kirk Christensen was forced to lay off all of his employees. The carpentry business wasn't doing well after the Great Depression had hit, so Christensen was left with a warehouse full of extra wood and nothing to do with it. So one day, he decided to make a wooden toy. The first Lego toy was a duck pool toy, and it was a success. Christensen's business was doing well again. Now all he needed was a name for the business. He chose the word Lego, which is a contraction of the Dutch phrase leg got, meaning play well in English. But what Christensen didn't know is that in Latin, Lego means I put together a sign for the future in store for the Lego company. During the next 20 years, the Lego factory burned down two times. This was before the time of automatic sprinklers, and a company involving woods, solvents, and paint had inherent risks. Though Christensen decided that the future belonged to plastic toys. So, in 1947, Lego became the first company in Denmark to own an injection molding machine. They spent the next two years designing plastic toys and, in 1949, introduced the first plastic toy, a rattle, shaped like a fish. <laughs> Other early designs included a teddy bear in an airplane and a model of a Ferguson tractor. The first patent was for a Lego gun, though in later years, Lego would decide to only make guns to go along with a certain character or theme, not as a standalone war toy. Now that Lego owned an injection molding machine, it was a natural progression to start making blocks, blocks out of plastic instead of wood. So, in 1958, Lego introduced its first bricks. The first bricks were modeled by ones made by Kitty Craft, another toy manufacturer, but they were not an immediate success. Unlike the bricks we have today, there were no tubes on the underside, so whatever you made would fall apart if you tried to pick it up and move it. Godfrey, Christensen's son, came up with the idea to add the tubes so whatever you made would stay together, but be easy enough for a child to pull apart to make something new. Lego also started making windows, doors, and wheels to increase the possibilities of what people could make. But who would live in the Lego houses and drive the Lego cars? In 1975, Lego introduced its first minifigures. Ole Kirk Christensen died before seeing the first real Lego brick in 1958, and in 1960, the Lego factory burned down a third time. Godfrey Christensen was now in charge of the business, and he discontinued all wooden toys from production to decrease the possibilities of having it burned down yet again. Today's Lego bricks can still connect with the first bricks ever made, 
and they never lose quality because, as L.A. Kirk Christensen said, quote, only the best is good enough, end quote. <laughs> this became the model of the Lego company, and surprisingly, only 18 out of every 1 million bricks is defective. But how do they make them so well? What are Lego bricks made of, and how are they made? Lego bricks used to be made out of cellulose acetate, the same plastic we see in toothbrushes today. But in 1962, the same Lego introduced the wheel. They started making bricks out of a on trial butadiene styrene, ABS for short. ABS was cheaper, easier to work with, more durable, and more color fast. When making a Lego brick, the process begins with little plastic granules, about the size of a grain of rice, that are stored in silos before getting sucked through tubes to injection molding machines. There are 13 giant silos at the Lego factory in Bill in Denmark, and each one holds over 33 tons of ABS. The machines heat the plastic to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and the molds apply between 25 and 150 tons of pressure. The Lego factory uses very accurate molds. Their precision tolerance is as little as 0 0.002 millimeters. After about seven seconds, the Lego bricks cool and fall onto conveyors, where they are then carried and fall into boxes for robots to pick up and take to assembly halls, where some will be stamped with designs. 6,000 bricks are made every second, adding up to 19 billion bricks made every year. But the Lego brick is not just for play, and it's not just for children. <laughs> Educators can use Lego bricks as math manipulatives, or to, math manipulatives, or to illustrate scientific ideas like simple machines. There are worldwide competitions where students can compete to program Lego robots called Mindstorms to perform simple tasks like pushing something over or picking it up. There are also multiple sets that Lego sells, like police cars, fire stations, ice cream trucks. <laughs> they also have some licensed things, like Star Wars, Harry Potter, and Indiana Jones. Some fans buy sets just for unique pieces and characters to enhance their buildings at home. There are worldwide exhibitions where fans can exhibit their amateur designs, such as these. But there are also some master builders, like Nathan Sawaya, who get paid to build with Legos. Pretty sweet job, if you ask me. <laughs> Lego can also be used to make films. As we all know, the Lego movie recently came out. But fans can also make their own videos, called stop actions, where they take a picture, move a piece, 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 and so on for about 1,000 photos. But everyone loves it. A whole genre has developed on YouTube for videos such as Days of Our Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Lego can also be used to illustrate books such as The Brick Bible by Brendan Smith with over 1,200 pictures. Lego is a creative toy that helps children solve divergent problems. Convergent problems such as puzzles only have one correct solution. But creative toys like Lego help children solve divergent problems, problems with more than one correct solution. And our country needs creative thinkers in order to be successful. A major test was conducted in 2011 with over 300,000 children. The results showed that our country is in a creativity crisis. Since mathematicians show that with just six bricks, there are over 900 million different unique possibilities, Lego may be the answer to this creativity crisis and can prove to be the building blocks for our God-given creativity. Thank you.